Hello everyone, welcome back to Ryan Reacts and my first attempt at a Steven Universe review. Uh, there's going to be a link down in the description to the Blind Reactions, episodes 3, 4, and 5. There's a mess up in the playback, so I'm going to be doing that a little bit differently. Episodes 3, 4, 5 on this one, S 6, 7, 8 on the next one, so it'll be two in uh, 3 instead of 2, so hope you like that. Check below for the link. Now that we're on to the episode, let's begin. Episode 3, Say Uncle. Uh, to be honest, uh, before I had seen this, I hadn't seen Uncle Grandpa. I hadn't seen the show. I was barely aware of the character before doing the review. I did watch the first two episodes, the first episode with two things in it. Honestly, I didn't care for it. Uh, just way too much random crap for me. Too mu at least too much too quickly if you have a little bit and ease into it. I maybe could have handled it better there. There was just too much too fast and I didn't really get into it. So that's kind of a knock against this episode to be perfectly honest. However, I will say Uncle Grandpa's initial appearance looking like Rose initially until you got a close-up of him. I thought that was kind of amusing. I thought that was kind of a obvious troll move. I thought it was kind of cute. I thought it was entertaining. So I... Not that Grunkle Grandpa is a terrible character. He can be funny from time to time. I thought he was hilarious there. Also, when Grunkle Grandpa was in his uh, RV talking with the green dude, I forget his name, he mentioned he has his own gem sonas, or his own gem sona. I was wondering, is that a thing with uh, uh, Steven Universe fans? Uh, just kind of curious because bronies have their own pony OCs. I'm wondering if there are some sort of Steven Universe OCs within their fandom. Uh, just let me know in the comments. I'd be kind of curious to know that uh, one way or the other. Thank you. And one of the other things that I found amusing in the episode was Amethyst eating Pizza Steve. I thought that was funny. I liked to see the way the, the uh, gems reacted to Uncle Grandpa. It was pretty much what you would expect when you started doing things like using death rays and bazookas and shit like that. They're very protective over Steven and they wanted to get rid of Uncle Grandpa because he's doing all kinds of crazy weird shit that would be best left kept away from him, I suppose. Overall, the episode, though, I would say it's pretty good. Uh, rated a 7.5. Uh, not sure what I rated it in my blind reaction. Uh, still, I watched it the second time. Seeing a little bit of uh, Uncle Grandpa may have helped and hurt, it and, and, helped and hurt in different ways. Uh, it seemed to make a little bit more sense within the show. Although it didn't improve my taste for Uncle Grandpa all that much. Next episode, Love Letters, I will say to this one, I thought Jamie was absolutely adorable in his cuteness and shyness and attraction for Garnett. Uh, it was just so uh, f amusing, but at the same time, very cringeworthy with his over-the-top, uh, over-dramatic monologues and language there's no way that's gonna work uh it was very face palm inducing over and over again you need to play it cool dude i realize some people do try to go too high and to fly too close to the sun as the saying goes but he was flying in the sun i gotta say <laughs> and of course part of the problem with this relationship is he's so dramatic and over the top Garnett likes to play everything so cool. I just can't see that relationship working. Even if Garnett was into him or interested, I think it would be doomed to failure from the beginning just because they are so diametrically opposed personalities for the most part. Final episode is called Reformed. Now, this one was interesting in the most of the three I watched, primarily because it seems to dive into Amethyst obvious psychological issues. She deals with her past, how she was created from a horrible, destroy humanity inducing uh, plan, plot, whatever. That might have even, be, even been before humanity was uh, around, technically as we know it today, but either way, trying to take over the world, the earth, and make a bunch of gems. And it's not just that her past that Amethyst has to deal with. Is I've noticed something about it, her from the episode, from the writer's perspective. 
they need to give Amethyst something. Right now, she's kind of the fun one. She's the sloppy one. She's the messy one. She's the unkempt, unruly, around-the-corners one. But she doesn't really provide any, in my opinion, unique assets to the team thus far. Uh, she's not like a drawback outright. She's not really a hindrance, but she's not really nothing more than a warm body to use to help fight, as far as I can tell. Uh, Garnett has her leadership ability. She's got the third eye with future sense. Uh, Pearl, very smart, very athletic, uh, mobile, quick, all that stuff going on. Meanwhile, Amethyst, as far as fighting capacity, she's got a whip, and that's about it, as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe down the road she'll get some little bit more development, and she'll gain some new depth and ability to actually provide something unique to the team. Otherwise, though, I don't see that really thus far. Even Steven, though, he's shown he's got some really incredible, incredibly powerful super strength. He's got some healing abilities. So even he, without his gem powers really knowing what to do or how to work them, he still manages to provide more to the team as an asset, unique asset, than Amethyst, I feel. And of course, part of the problem with that is because Amethyst, you see throughout this episode, she refuses to learn from her mistakes. Uh, up until the very end, uh, I guess she kind of did when she took back her original form and looked more a little better. Other than that, though, what was it? She uh, had a problem because she reformed too quickly. And resp her response to that was to reform even quicker the next time. And even quicker the next time, each time trying to do more extravagant, over-the-top things... Or just do it as a joke. It's, you know, one of those cases where she just doesn't learn. She doesn't take anything seriously, which, again, is... She's, it can sometimes be a benefit, but she comes off as a hindrance in this one quite a bit, in my opinion. And I haven't seen a lot to contradict that in previous episodes. And it might also be another problem I've noticed with uh, Amethyst towards the end. She uh, finally gets support from her friends when she does the right thing. When she helps out and her rea reaction is to blow it off. I don't know if she has some sort of inferiority complex and can't handle support from her friends or whatever. But she definitely seems to need some sort of uh, assistance with that. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Maybe we'll get more revelation going down the road. But I would really like to find out more about Amethyst and maybe see if she can't get a little bit more respect from the writers. I feel like she's been kind of getting dug down a little bit the throughout the entire series for the most part. I guess we'll see how that works out going forward. Overall, first episode, I'll give that a set I gave that a seven and a half. Uh, love letters, I'll give that an eight and I'll also give an eight to reformed. All really good episodes, all enjoyable. The Uncle Grandpa, not quite so much because I'm not a big fan of Uncle Grandpa. Other than that, though, really good shows. Hope you enjoy my attempt at a review. Let me know in the comments how I did. Uh, please like, share, subscribe as well. But above all else, as always, of course, please have a nice day.